G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Sandy Tracks Fishing. So in this episode we're actually not going to be fishing. Um, just going to try something a little bit different. We're going to give um, fish to dish a go. Um, basically, obviously it's just catch and catch to cook. Um, but I'm just renaming it because I'm a little bit different. Um, so two nights ago I caught a nice little um, jewfish, about 80 centimetres. So today's episode I'm just going to do a lovely bit of pan seared uh, jewfish on uh, like a nice warm Moroccan style chickpea and cherry tomato salad so camp so as you can see behind me I've set my camp little camp kitchen up something that you can do outdoors um, I want to probably do most of my cooking outside because it's something that you guys can relate to if you're out camping that kind of style so guys if you like this episode give it a like a thumbs up and I would love if you guys subscribe to my channel um, that obviously helps me out and keeps me motivated to keep making videos like this or fishing videos basically a bit of anything um, so quite a new channel I've only been up for about six weeks or so now I've got a few videos up really enjoying it um, basically I've gone the whole hog bought all the editing and camera gear I need laptops and everything and I've actually made some stickers as well so I'll show you guys some stickers so it's just sandy tracks fishing there with a little bass looking fish there and some bubbles and stuff so cool stickers as you can see I've got a big pile of them um, so just a little thank you from me to you guys if you guys want to jump over to my Instagram which I'll post on the screen now so jump over to my Instagram give me a follow and send me a message with your address and I'll send you guys a couple of free stickers um, I'll just get into this dish. Super simple recipe, guys. Don't feel like it's um, over complicated. Basically, the start of the dish obviously is the jewfish. Um, it's simply cooked, and um, I'll show you a little quick trick of how I like to cook my fish to keep it nice and moist and crispy. So, if you like this video, send me a message, hit the thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, guys. So, I'm pretty excited. It's super early in the morning. I actually tried to film this yesterday. Um, I was happy with how everything turned out. I went through the whole video talking to you guys to discover at the end of it. I actually didn't press record. And my next door neighbors were looking at me a bit strangely going, why is this guy talking to a camera? Um, so I'm out again doing it. Um, right, so the first process is obviously the fish. So what we're going to do is score the fish. So when you score fish, it's going to cook quicker it's going to help the skin go crispy and it's also a very, very good way of getting flavors into the actual fish so scoring basically what you do is pinch the sides till it's nice and tight and just run your knife in the middle just enough to pierce the skin just like so and also when you go to plate it up it looks a lot nicer just score the fish so it's just lightly just a little past the skin and into the flesh probably about a half a centimetre alright guys so we're going to get the salad out of the way first basically we can make the salad and put a lid on it and keep it warm ready to serve so I've got some super simple ingredients here nothing too flashy so that's basically the salad guys not much to it at all alright guys so just going to take off a cheek off the capsicum and this little white bit here just want to take that guy out it is it's just bitter it's not very nice to eat it off and we'll just cut this guy into like a large dice and take your time chopping you don't need to show off to anyone, so it doesn't matter. So just a nice large dice with the capsicum like that, guys. And then we'll pop that into a little bowl. And we'll get rid of this onion as well. So this recipe is just for one. So obviously it depends how many people you're cooking for. Double it, triple it, yada, yada, yada. So just take your time dice this onion, you want to dice this onion a little bit smaller than the capsicum just like that 
and then in with the capsicum. Like that. Again, this is just a salad for one, so as many or as little as you want. So I've just taken off one cheek of capsicum, quarter of onion, um, obviously as many tomatoes as you want. I use about a third of a punnet, a couple more there. Depends if you really like tomato, put more in it. So it's winter, there's abundance of kale. So if you guys don't know what kale is, it's a type of cabbage. Um, it is known for being a superfood. It's super healthy for you. And um, I actually quite like it. So I've gone and bought these guys here. Um, Kaolettes. So I'll grab one now. So it's just like a Brussels sprout. Kale. I've actually never really seen them before. Um, I just bought them because I wanted purple kale, but they didn't have any, but they had these guys. So we're gonna saute a couple of these off to go through our salad. This is just gonna add color to our dish and also just something a little bit different because not your average Joe has had kale before. Super simple to toss guys, even though it looks fancy. Basically all you're gonna do is get all your ingredients to the top of the pan and go forward and back to flick up like that. Even though it looks fancy way of cooking, it really isn't that hard. It's just the practice makes perfect thing. It's time to chuck in our kale. So our kale, the stems are a little bit chewy. So that's why we want to get the kale in quite early. So again, chuck it in. Make sure it's coated in the oil. Back on the heat. So I'm gonna go in with these beautiful yellow tomatoes or orange, would you call that? I'd call that orange, anyway. Um, so we've given the kale about two minutes. In with the tomatoes. These guys really don't need to be cooked. You still don't want them to be whole or halved. So just give them a toss. We're gonna go in with our chickpeas. So it's about a half a tin of chickpeas. Like I said yesterday, I've already filmed it. And I used the other half, obviously. So these have been drained. Wash that in. All right, guys, so in with some garlic herb salt. Lemon pepper. And we're rocking. Just a sprinkle of lemon, just a sprinkle of the pepper and the salt and maybe about a teaspoon of Moroccan. Give that a little toss. And take, turn the flame off. So that's it guys, look how good that looks. That took about three, four minutes to make. Delicious, help. Look at that. And if you've got any vegetarians or vegans at campsite, throw them in the bin. But if you actually like them, just give them a bowl of this and they'd be more than happy. So, just got some plain flour, just a, maybe a quarter cup. Don't need much at all. So what we're going to do, is season it with our garlic herb salt. Lemon pepper. I like quite a fair bit of pepper, so. And just give that guy a little stir in. All right, so basically that's the trick, guys. So there's nothing to it. So it's just seasoned flour. And what we're gonna do is lightly dust our fish in the flour and then cook the fish in olive oil and butter. So what the flour does is creates like a tiny little bit of crust on the fish and it helps lock in the moisture. So you'll have a beautiful- right, guys, so there's our flour. And what we're gonna do is wash it straight in. So like I said, it's not a batter. It's just a bit of a crust to help lock the moisture in. So just press it down a little bit. Make sure it's evenly coated. Like about that much. On both sides. You don't want to pile it on, just dab it in. Okay, so we've got a nice medium heat olive oil pan on. I'm going to go skin side down. Now it's just, just this nice beautiful sizzle. 
make sure you get it in the oil. Alright, so what you're gonna do at this stage, bring that a little bit closer. So what you're gonna do at this stage, guys, is press the fish down. So this is going to help it not curl up in the pan like it always does. So just hold that for about a minute. So you want to make sure it's an even coloured goldness all over the skin. And you'll feel the fish trying to curl up and wherever you feel it up, just make sure you press that a little bit down. Make sure there's plenty of olive oil around it. Low and slow is a beautiful way of cooking fish. As long as your pan's sizzling and not smoking, you guys will be alright. Alright, so about a minute. So that's not going to curl now. That's going to sit here. Alright guys, I also like to cook in butter. So I just got about a teaspoon of butter. Just going to put that guy right in the middle of the two. I put that a couple minutes after I put the fish in, so the butter's not going to burn. The olive oil will help the butter not burning. Push over and see how beautiful, crispy, golden it is. There you go, look at the colour on that. Beautiful. So, give that guy a nice flip around. Look at that. Lovely. Back into the pan. Make sure the oil's all in it again. There we go. So, struggle cooking fish guys this is about probably about as thick as what an old fish fillet's going to be so i majority cook three quarters of the fish on the skin side down because you want to form that beautiful golden crust so like i did just check out the color of the skin if you're happy with the color of the skin it's time to turn it so basically the color of the skin is the fish's way of telling you guys it's time to turn it so I give it about four to six minutes on the skin side down until I'm happy with the golden crust. And then I'll flip it and I'll give this probably about two minutes. I'll turn the heat off and the residual heat in the pan will finish cooking. All right guys, so another quick little tip. So another reason why we score fish is basically if you are not very confident cooking fish, we can actually check to see if it's cooked. So where you've cut, we can basically get our flip and basically put it in one of those slots and basically just carefully have a look inside. So for me, I can see that flesh is white and also if you press down, you can see clear juices running out. So that's cooked. I'm gonna turn that off. Give that a stir. All right, I'm just gonna plate him up. So you can plate it up however you like. Super simple guys, it's just fish and salad. It's just a little bit different salad for you guys to try out. And that beautiful, gorgeous, golden bit of Jewfish on top. Now, beautiful, fresh Jewfish. Look at that. So, like I said, skin side up, guys. Look at that bit. Look at that bit. Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> so, you want the skin side up. Basically, you want to show off the hard work that you've put in to make that skin crispy and golden. So you want to show that off. You don't want to put it upside down and people to miss out. So I'm going to put that guy on top. So there we have it guys. Here's my um, pan seared Jewfish there. Look at the color on that. Look at the bloody goldenness mate. That is amazing. So lovely warm chickpea, kale, cherry tomato salad with freshly caught Jewfish. Super, super simple guys. Super bright. If you guys don't want to cook that and don't want to dive in there and eat that, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. This fish, guys. We'll get that. We'll get the money shot. Look at that golden crispiness. Oh, this is how tender this fish is. Look at that. Just breaks away. <laughs> Look at that bit there. I'll try and help it focus. Look at that bit there. Whoa, how good does that look? That's beautiful. Give this fish a bit of a, a bit of a go. Mm. 
No, oh, ma'am. Mm. So you what? It's only eight thirty in the morning, but I could be breakfast. So that's it for the episode. I'm still eating. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, if you like it, give a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and. Really want to hear you guys, your guys' feedback, just to um, see if this is something that you guys want a little bit more of. Um, I'm more than happy to show you tips and tricks of how to cook simple dishes that you can do at campsites, or even something a little bit more fancy if you're looking to impress that special somebody. Um, chickpea Moroccan salad with a bit of fresh golden um, jewfish on top, if that doesn't impress the person that you're trying to impress then maybe you should have swiped left on tinder anyway guys hope you liked the episode let me know what you guys thought and don't forget about stickers more than happy to send you guys some free stickers just to say thank you for watching my channel hit that like that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and um which i think is a like a thumbs up that's the same thing and um yeah i'll see you guys on the water you